Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, you look so adorable in those handcuffs. <laughs> come here. Yes, 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 come here. Come sit on my lap. Oh my gosh, I've missed you so much. We haven't been able to do this since the last time I came here. And when was that? Hmm, a month ago? Maybe a little bit more than a month ago. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I know. <sighs> I miss you so much. Yeah, come lay on my arms, baby. I've really missed moments like this. Where we can just be together and enjoy each other's company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, before we even get really into it, I need to make sure you're taking your meds. Mm-hmm. Yes, Missy. No back talk. Not like last time. I, I, and no trying to bite my fingers off again. <laughs> mm. Mm. Naughty girl. Now, open. Yep. Okay. Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good girl. Well, it seems like you're still willing to listen, which is good. That's definitely progress. I mean, I've been doing fine. <laughs> I mean, just as fine as I can with you not around. I've been really missing you at home. Since you had your mental breakdown, the house just really hasn't been the same. No, I'm, I'm being serious. It just feels more empty without you there. I'm not waking up with you blasting music every single morning cooking us breakfast. Or you singing in the shower. And ever since you've been here... I'm starting to really realize how many hoodies I actually have. <laughs> hey, I'm being serious. It's kind of sad, but I almost like, I, I miss seeing you in my clothes a lot. And I really hate that you're here, but I know it's for your own good. And you're trying to get better. And I love you for that. I think that's what's most important. No, no, baby. I get it. Mm. Mm. You did nothing wrong. No, no, no. He hear me out. You really didn't. I know you think having a mental breakdown is your fault, but... You were just under so much pressure. <sighs> Baby, life is hard. And I get that sometimes you just can't handle it and you, you snap. Yeah. You snapped and stabbed 86-year-old Mrs. Helen in her flower shop 147 times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the police got there when they did. They really got there just in time. <laughs> From what I heard and what you were doing with that gasoline, you were just one match away from setting yourself on fire. <laughs> I'm 
just really glad that you're safe now. Shh, baby. No, don't do it. Don't do that to yourself. It's all right. You're not a bad person. You were just having a bad day. It happens to the best of us. Come here. Shh, I know, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I love you so much. Just, just stay in my arms for a second, okay? I don't want you to feel like you're just some kind of villain or something. I know, baby, I know. It was just a bad day. I know. And no matter what, I'm never going to let you go. I'll never let this dangerous past of yours ever stop me from loving you. No, of course not, baby. You are the love of my life. The woman who brings me the most joy in my entire life. Other than my mother. <laughs> yes, and I love you both. And I would never abandon you. Just because you think that you're broken or something. <laughs> I mean, baby, we all make mistakes. And I'm not going to abandon you because of that. Look at me. I love you. And I'm always going to be here for you. Okay? Good. I know, baby. I know. I don't ever want you to feel like I'm going to leave you. Of course, baby. At the end of the day, no matter what, you and I, we're a team. <laughs> and we always will be. Even if you keep trying to bite my fingers off. <laughs> I feel the same way. I mean, I really don't know what I would do without you. And, by the way, rumor has it that you've been behaving yourself. Is that correct? Okay, someone seems excited. I like that. <laughs> so you have been. So you have been. I'm very happy to hear that. It sounds like you've been reducing your stabbings in the shower and cafeteria to only three women now. Hey, <laughs> give me five. That sounds like progress. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I know it must be hard, and I get it. These girls are getting on your nerves. But I think... No, 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 hear me out. I think it's really good that you're starting to stab less people. Now, were these just warning shots? Oh, baby, we talked about the lethal ones. You can't do that. That's no bueno. I don't care if she deserved it. What did she do? What could she possibly have done? Wait, wait. She took your last snack pack. Well, she had it coming. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really, I really shouldn't be enabling this. That is so bad. <laughs> but I think the main point is that you're trying, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm so proud of you. You know, I did hear that if you keep this up and slowly bring down your stabbings, the judge may bring down your sentence from life to 87 years. You know what that sounds like? Hmm. Hmm. It sounds like hope. I know that would make me so happy. 
Oh, right. And uh, speaking of happiness, <laughs> that reminds me. I hold on. Let me uh, let me get it. I brought you something. I know that you don't have access to your favorite snacks in here. At least not as often as you would like, clearly. So I brought it upon myself to bring you a month's supplies worth of, um, let me see. Your favorite snacks. And um, I also brought you some new books. And uh, let me see. Here. <laughs> I got you this necklace. I love you so much, sweetie. I mean, honestly, I wish it was ring, but I just wanted you to have something so you can always think about me. That'll always remind you of us. So that you won't give up hope. Whenever you feel down, you feel scared, or you're just not sure what's going to happen next, I want you to look at this and remember that I'm always here for you. I'm just one call away. I know, baby. Come here. Mm. Mm. I love you too. <laughs>